Hello everybody, what's up and welcome back to Drama Queen. So this topic has not only been sent to me numerous times, but I have also been seeing this come up a lot on my news feed and it's really, really heartbreaking to say the least, especially because it's a story that comes out of TikTok of an Italy girl who supposedly passed away due to a TikTok challenge. Italy tells TikTok to block users after death of 10 year old Antonella. Authorities in Italy have ordered video app TikTok to block the accounts of any users who age it cannot verify after a 10 year old girl accidentally choked herself to death while taking part in a challenge. The lifeless body of Antonella was found by her four year old sister on the bathroom floor of her family's home in Sicily. Investigators believe she told her parents she was heading into the bathroom to have a shower before attempting to film herself as part of the viral blackout challenge. Okay, so this is a situation where I am on TikTok all the time and of course I don't know everything that actually happens on the app. I don't know about all of the trends. Once again, the only way I really know about these heinous trends nowadays is if somebody sends it through to me because not a lot of these dangerous trends get onto For You pages anymore as we have asked TikTok time and time again to not promote content like that. Now, TikTok had actually responded to this story by saying the company would cooperate with authorities. Our deepest sympathies are with the girl's family and friends. We do not allow content that encourages, promotes, or glorifies dangerous behavior that might lead to injury, and our teams work diligently to identify and remove content that violates our policies. While we have not currently found evidence of content on our platform that might have encouraged such an incident off-platform, we will continue to monitor closely as part of our continuous commitments to keep our community safe. And TikTok at the moment is cooperating with authorities with anything they may need about the situation, of course. This this is one of those videos where I have to agree with TikTok. I have never seen such a challenge that has been described before. I have just never seen it. I have never heard of this trend. I have not been even notified about this trend. And I have a lot of people on this channel who watch these kinds of videos and send me trends as soon as it happens or as soon as people see it to spread awareness since we have such a large platform here on Drama Queen. This is such a devastating situation. Now, I could be completely wrong. TikTok could also be completely wrong within the realms of what trend could be out there that kids, teens, whoever is doing are on the app. Because if there's no evidence right now, it's so hard to believe that this girl's unfortunate passing was due to a TikTok trend. 10 years old having social media is just so, so harmful. And this is the reason why. Because let's just hypothetically say that this was a trend on TikTok. Why does the child have social media? media in the first place. And it's just so, so sad and so heartbreaking. This should not have happened. This should never have happened. And I feel so horrible for the family and I'm sending my absolute condolences and sympathies because it just breaks my heart that they are in this situation at the moment and that they have lost a daughter. They've lost a sister, a friend. Being popular years ago is making a comeback. Even if you haven't heard of it, chances are your kids have. And after the death of a little boy who played it, there's a renewed warning for parents. Community in Elizabeth is mourning the loss of a fifth grader killed as the result of a viral online challenge. A thrill-seeking game that can turn deadly. Some teen teenagers are playing it, and it even could be your teenager. Our Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here to tell us about this terrible game. Jim, it, it really is, Debbie. Good morning. It's called the choking game, or five minutes in heaven. It's a dangerous teen trend where adolescents literally choke each other to get a brief high. So I found a couple of articles dated back from 2018 that there in fact was a hashtag called the pass out challenge on TikTok when Musical.ly had first transitioned into TikTok. Dug even further and I found this article from February 13th last year. That's right, 2020. Thousands of teens are passing out on TikTok for likes. Teenagers are taking to social media platform TikTok to participate in the pass out challenge where they shake their head back and forth in an attempt to lose consciousness. Thousands of teens have posted videos of themselves trying it with comments like, I can't believe it worked and okay, it works and I fell off the bed, it hurt.
So the 10 year old girl that did pass away, she did this challenge by putting a belt around her neck as tight as she could. And this challenge that I just read that happened last year is a lot more different than, you know, actually putting something around your neck. As the article says, they, they shake their head back and forth in an attempt to lose consciousness. In conclusion, I can't say where this 10 year old got the idea for doing this challenge. I have no idea. It could have been TikTok. It could have really been anywhere she could have seen this and gotten it from. And with the more that this is investigated, we will of course know the conclusion of it. So with that being said guys, I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.